Inside one of the contracts for the DAI stablecoin, there's a mapping called words. This mapping is used for authorization. And at the bottom, there's a modifier called auth. If words of message.sender is equal to 1, then the rest of the function can execute. Otherwise, if this is equal to 0, then the function with this auth modifier cannot be called by message sender. And the way this word is set is by the function rely and deny. And you can see over here that when the function rely is called, it sets words of user to 1, and to deny it, it sets words of user to 0. But notice that there is no event that is emitted when the function rely or deny is called. So looking at the smart contract on the mainnet, it's difficult to see which address is authorized and which address is not authorized. But recently I found a useful tool called EBM storage that will allow us to quickly look at which addresses are authorized. And to do this, I'll first copy the address of the back contract that I'll be using for this example. And then going back to the EBM storage website, paste the address, click on search, and it will take us to the page where some storage information about this contract is displayed. Scrolling down, we can see how the storage is laid out. We can see that at slot 0, we have the mapping words, and at slot 1, we have the mapping can, and at slot 2, we have the mapping IOKS, and so on. So remember that words is a mapping that stores authorization. Now to check which address is authorized, what we have to do is click on this words mapping, and then I'll put this as a table view. And now we can see which addresses are authorized. We can see over here that the contract name clipper at this address is authorized to call this back contract. And the same goes for the next clipper contract and the gem join. And then we have another contract called the clipper contract, which is also authorized and so on. As another example, going back to the same back contract, the struct IOK stores information about the collateral in the MakerDAO DAI stablecoin contracts. And this is also stored in a mapping called ILKS. Now let's go back to the EVM storage website and see what data is stored in this ILKS mapping. So I'm going back to map and then scrolling back up, I'll click on the back contract again. I'll look for a mapping called ILKS, which is located at slot 2. Click on this. And then I'll scroll up and I'll click on table view, scroll down, and we see some information about the IOKs. If I click on one of them, I see some information about a collateral. So this website called ebm.storage is a useful website to see how storages are laid out for a live smart contract on the mainnet and to also see what kind of data are stored in the state variables.